go. What's up, guys? So, um, I'm headed to actually pick up the trailer. I went and got some fuel and some ice this morning. Since I had the truck unhooked last night, that was a an adventure. So last night, last night was sorry, I saw some crackheads, but last night was pretty crazy. Um, I go help my buddy out, and I'm like, dang, dude, on this heavy load, my my brakes really suck. So I'm like, all right, let me change the brakes. Let me just go ahead and do that. So I get home. Well, actually, I go by rallies, get the brakes and stuff. Get home, and I get the passenger side off, and uh, I notice the uh, piston on the caliper is cracked. And I'm like, fuck, here we go. So I'm like, all right, well, maybe it's just cracked on the outside. I can just push it back in. So I go to push it. As soon as I push that thing, brake fluid spews everywhere. Mind you, it's nine o'clock, and I'm like, oh fuck, let me go find, let me go find a, um, let me go find another caliper. Let me um, try to hurry up and find another caliper because I've got a job in the morning and a job coming back. So I'm like, this is a big day for me. I can't, I can't like allow, I can't allow the things that I can't really control to kill me. So. I'm like, all right, let me find the caliper. It's nine o'clock. I call rallies. They're like, we got, well, it says we got one, but I don't know if we got it. And so I, I hop in the car and I, I run up there in one of my other cars. So I run up there. And I get up there. They're literally searching for this thing. Sorry, I got to put my coat in. So they're literally searching for this thing for probably 25 minutes and they finally found it. I was like, thank you, Lord. So we found the caliper, $200. Well, it's probably about a buck 50, but whatever. Found it, I get it back. I had to bleed the brakes. I had to, um, and I still then still had the other side to do. So I did the other side. The other side went off pretty easy. It wasn't cracked or anything. Not real sure why one side was cracked and one side wasn't. Probably because they weren't bled properly in the first place. But I got it figured out. We got everything done. And next thing you know, um, I finally get done. And it's probably around 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And I am exhausted. I'm like, oh my God, here we go. Like I, I got a long trip tomorrow. And I'm about to be tired as heck. Like, this is not going to be fun. So. Alright. Sorry about that. The So, kind of the, the thing was, I got it fixed. But I got it fixed late, right? And I woke up this morning and I was very tired. Like, very tired. It's just been a, a rough 12 hours. But that's neither here nor there it's a new day we're headed to pick up this load no clue what it really is just some rigging stuff apparently so we're going to take it down to Atlanta but on the way we're going to pick up a check from my buddy to take down to um, for the second round of the pickup so for the backhaul got to pick up this check take it down there so we can get the backhaul so it's all part of it man we're gonna try to make about 1100 today we're gonna be safe not have any issues hopefully and we are going to get it done but I did get the truck fixed late last night I've got the trailer hooked up now. That's what I was doing when I had to abruptly get off here. And um, we are uh, we're on the road. So we'll show you, I'll show you guys what I pick up here in a minute. Hopefully it's uh, something cool or something. Because a lot of times what it seems like I pick up is a lot of just random stuff. It's pretty cool to me, you know, I like random stuff, but 
whatever. Here we go. Hell yeah. It's freaking crane, bro. Good lord. All right, so I got this load. It is pieces of a crane. And, uh, yeah. It's been a long, it took a while to get loaded up. And we're trying to, I had to come pick up the check for my buddy. I just been on kill, like trying to hurry up. Ugh. So, sorry. Now, we're hitting 85. Gonna put the pedal to the metal and get down to Douglasville pretty quick. And then uh, we're gonna get down to Americas and pick up the um, UTV. So. I'm gonna try to get this knocked out. Gotta be at the UTV place by six. Gotta be in Douglasville by three. So luckily I got some food here in the truck, some fruit. Luckily I've got some drinks in my cooler. Cause we're gonna have to send it. <laughs> so yeah, let's go. All right, so we have made it to Atlanta. I'm probably about 30 minutes from the drop off um, and of course I'm in traffic it's only it's not even three o'clock yet and traffic is crazy so I'm gonna try to make it there by let's say the next 30 minutes or so and then um, we're gonna bust it down to Americas try to get down there and get back well, yeah, we've been hauling behind getting down here. And we actually had to uh, divert around some traffic and stuff like that. So that was pretty crazy. But we are in the A, as they call it. And we're almost there. Look at where I am, dude. This is wild. <sighs> There's no bite. And uh, I'm out here trying to trying to get this joker in here. This is like crazy. Wow. It's muddy as heck. We gonna have fun getting out of this joke. Boys, we are bogged in. This guy is deep. Get on some dry land. Woo wee. That is sketchy. So yeah, we just dropped this thing off, running late as crap. We got about 140 miles down to Georgia, and I'm about to send it. So I gotta get some fuel. I'm gonna call them, see if somebody can stay over a little bit. If not, looks like I'm staying in Atlanta for tonight, but I'd really like to not do that. So we about to see. Oh no, wrong way. All right, all right. We are in Americus, Georgia, I think is how it's pronounced. We are here. We are almost at the, uh, the pickup location. 
um, looks like we're about two miles from there, so it has been a hike. Um, so we're gonna try to get this thing picked up and get back on the road and see how far we can make it tonight before we shut down. Um, yeah, so we shall see. We shall see. But between Atlanta and Americas, there's a ton of awesome, like, if you just want to drive and, like, clear your mind, it's probably the coolest place you could ever drive because there's nothing out there but farmland. Uh, just crops, you and the crops. So you're just driving with the crops, and it's pretty great. I loved it. Sunset, kind of, and it was pretty great. But... Yeah, we're about to pull up here, get this picked up, and get back up the road. All right, we got this girl picked up. Nice mule, DXT. Very nice, very nice. We are at PSP, Honda, Kawasaki, Suzuki, and all that other stuff. About to head out and hit the road. Got about four hours till we get back up to his house. Then we got about another hour till we get to mine. So I'll probably be home around 1:30 if I can push it through. Let's go. Yeah. 